What you are about to see may contain violence, disturbing imagery, adult themes, and may leave you hungry for power and blood. Proceed at your own risk. Hello and welcome. Welcome everybody to Table Stories Leech. What has happened? Why are we not in the right spot? <laughs> Mother. <laughs> turn off cams. You got the order saved at this Yeah, game. I do. Ooh. Can we turn off our cams and put them in the right order that's posted in the Discord? Thank you so much. While I introduce us. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Table Stories Leech, episode number two. Uh, we are going to dive right in today. I did want to say content warning, which you just saw on the screen, but this is a vampire show. It's going to get dark. It's going to get gross. It's going to get gritty. Um, but yeah, welcome back. We're so happy to have you for episode two. Um, Josh, our wonderful GM, do you want to take it away? We're also still uh, not in yeah. the right fucking order. Hold on. Uh -oh. Here we are. No, we're not. We no, we're not. Mergs and well, Tuesday need to switch. Oh, okay, yeah. there we go. Nope. Tuesday, turn it off. Mergs, then Tuesday. Oh my God. There we go. Okay, we're Production good now. quality. Woo! I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> also, I know you can't see the rolls. I'm on it. Please, Josh, take it away. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Leech. <laughs> Episode 2. We are uh, extremely excited to be here. I have uh, uh, got a lot of things on my mind today. And one of them is kind of a continuation of what well, we were asking last week, which is where does the from where does the blood flow? Because you can't end a sentence with a preposition. Preposition, and Josh! Thank you so much. That's such a thing I fucking hate, and everyone does it. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry. Except I wrote it down in my notes. I was like, where does the blood flow from? I'm like, mm, no, no. <laughs> I don't even around. know what that means, but I've got a feeling that I do it all the time because it sounds like something that Londoners would do. It's uh, mm. like when people say, from? where are you at? Instead of where oh, are you at? Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Another one is the fresh baked instead of freshly baked. Uh -huh. Sorry. It's it fresh like an American thing. It's a stupid thing to care about. For me, but. it's theirs instead of there are. There's four of them there. There are four of them there. <laughs> no, all of these there things. Is. This is, there is the one. first time I'm learning about all of this English language stuff. Makes me so happy right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we are just good. claim it as culture, Brand. Say I'm English. Listen. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit. Literally right. invented the language. Yeah, me personally. Personally. <laughs> Grandma um, vampires. We're gonna pretend to be vampires. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's. Good luck with that, everyone. Thanks. And I'm not talking to the cast there. I'm talking to the <laughs> chat. Oh. oh boy! <laughs> because these are some bloodthirsty vampires, and I am. I'm very happy to be here with them. As we open in a dark street in Manchester, illuminated by the phones of the crowds passing by. It's a main street as the caterer, Nine, Alex, and a woman that Nine might recognize as the partner to the boy she fed on at the beginning of last time, walk down the street towards the Beast End Tower, which is what we're calling it now. <laughs> <sighs> we almost there. Do, do you have no patience? No. Alex. Hold tight, baby. Where's this body? <sighs> bored already. I'm I'm sure you'll find something interesting at Lionel's mm. tower. And I'm sure you've seen your share of dead bodies. 
Alex Alex certainly has. Because I'm about to get paid to clean it up. That's what's so interesting about this one. Aside from that, I have no idea. I don't understand why I have to be here. I thought it would be fun for you. You can Mm. fuck off if you like. I was having fun. I'm going to put my um, arm around Nine's waist and make sure she doesn't fuck off. Because she's fun. (laughs) All right, let's just get this over with. Right. The uh, street ends basically with the Beeston Tower and immediately you can see barriers clearly put up by uh, whoever's guarding Lionel's uh, haven and as you pass through all of you very easily you're recognised you turn a corner and you see there a woman dressed in a suit in a pool of her own blood covered in it what hunger are the two of you at? Mm. Zero. One. Well, I believe one. one. You're both at one. Mm-hmm. The smell of blood is strong in the air. There's a copious amount of it, but you have control of yourselves today. How fresh is it? Um, at this point, it's probably not very fresh. It's probably been here for about half an hour. Okay, so this is just gross? Wait, wait, wait. It's outside Lionel's tower. Yeah, that's not good, but isn't that his problem? Why is it outside Lionel's tower? What are you trying to say? You first. Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna go and have a look at this dead body that's not fresh, unfortunately. <laughs> no. How close do you get? Oh, I'm just gonna go up to the body. Okay. You stand next to it. You see a woman, maybe late thirties. Um, like I said, in a in a suit. There's blood on her, underneath her, uh, clearly came out of her eyes, ears, mouth, Um, and like I described last time, there's vomited a little bit, she was clearly in pain, Um, and you see a cigarette butt on her lapel, the ash has burnt a hole through. Alex? Mm-hmm. It... It looks like it came out of her eyes. Mm-hmm. They're kind of cute when they've got no life left in them. Can you keep it together for a second? This is... Okay. Uh, I'm going to crouch down and... Um, uh... I'm going to put my fingers in the blood and see if it is as fresh as I think my nose tells me it is. Um, yeah. It is about as fresh as you think. You taste it. Tastes, uh... Tastes a little bit like fear. And some other stuff in there as well. (sighs) Ooh. Taste this. And I hold my finger up to nine. Nine. Mmm. I prefer fresher. Mmm, somebody was afraid. Mm. Very afraid. Recognize her? No. Do you? Mm. 
Recognize the work? Have I ever heard of this? Vomiting blood out of eyes, ears, and mouth. Hmm. You will need to make an intelligence occult roll. Mm. That's probably not great for me. (laughs) (laughs) Did that not roll? I don't see it. I'll do it again. Both cool. came up. They both came up. I'm going to take your first one. I'm going to be kind. Although I don't know why. <laughs> With two successes. You've never heard of this happening before, but the method of destroying someone seemingly from the inside is. Uh, Vampiric at best. Blood magic vampiric? Do you say that aloud? Mm. Blood magic? The Mm. caterer steps forward. His body practically reeks of it. You know her? No. I'm going to look for a wallet. You search through her clothes. Make a wits investigation roll. Four. Okay, I'm going to uh, just take a quick moment here. roll okay you see a pack of cigarettes in her pockets Um, you see uh, spare change But the thing that catches your eye is the seam on the inside of the jacket. It's been restitched with a slightly different color of thread. I have no reason to think anything different of that. Um, were they cheap cigarettes? Expensive. They were cheap. You notice something odd about the cigarettes, which is that the box is silk cuts, but inside are seven Windsors. I think she's just poor. There's McDonald's there, right? It's probably a receipt from a McDonald's. <laughs> Just some... Just say it. A... a porry. Gross. We should no, probably so talk to Lionel, though. <laughs> you think he'll speak to me again after the last time we spoke? I think he has to. <laughs> Oh, yes, please. Look, I'm not happy about it either. He's... boring. Yeah, but that turtleneck, though. Really? Oh, come on. Really, Alex? What? I don't see it. Yeah, but you can feel it. <laughs> okay, let's let's go see Lionel. Mm-hmm. You you need help with this? No, I don't need any help with my job, but 
Thank you for the offer. And she bats her eyes, eyelids at you. Mm. Both of you, wits awareness. She's a spicy one. Oh, I wouldn't know. I need Rufus technical help. I am clicking on awareness, but I'm not getting another option. Uh, there should be a pop-up. Are you mm. popping out the um the I am popping sheet? out the window, is that? It actually uh-huh. shows in the, the window you. for the game. It's really annoying. It shows in the roll 20 window. And you said wits. Oh, sorry. Awareness. Uh, yeah, aware- awareness plus wits. Okay. <clears throat> Let us try again. But Alex got two, and so did nine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give this to you. Would you like to see something that the caterer does to this body? I would. A gift? Yes. <laughs> okay. You see her tear open what Alex saw as a slightly different stitched area and take something out of her jacket. But I don't catch what it was. You don't catch what it was. And she looks over at you as you notice. Well, what is it? Nothing, just a hunch. What did you find? It's my job, body disposal, not yours. Nine, come on. Let's go see Lionel. I'm just curious. Suddenly, now you're curious? I'm more curious to know why there's a body laid out in front of Lionel's tower. But she's keeping it from us, and I want to know. Um, I just pull her. I just got my hand around her waist. I'm just going to pull her close. Let's go. Fine. You smell good, by the way. <laughs> it's uh, a musk. Mm. Speaking of smells, can I smell anything other than the blood at the moment? It's maybe the slightly acidic tint of vomit. Um, no, I don't think so. You know, if they just didn't eat so much, they wouldn't do those other... Ugh. Humans are disgusting. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Mm. But necessary. Cattle is necessary. <laughs> they don't taste as good, though. <laughs> You're halfway oh, in still. to see... Uh, Lionel, you're inside. The caterer comes running up behind you. Did you really want to know what it was? Of course. Then get me in to see Lionel. Mm, Easily done. Oh, and uh, she throws over the, uh, the woman that she was dragging with you. Give this to him. It's a gift from me. <laughs> Excuse me. And I, I let go of nine and I'll uh, I'll just pick up the body. Oh, no, this is the woman that walked with you from the AEC oh. club. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Is she out? No, she's walking. She doesn't seem to be saying or paying attention to much. Oh, okay. Follow mm. Not my taste, but perhaps his. All right, follow us. I guess we'll get in the elevator. Josh, when I'm in the elevator, do I smell any perfume? 
do you smell any perfume? Tuesday, is Nine wearing any perfume? Mm, probably her usual, a mix of some kind of white flowers and kind of musky as well. Leathery, I'll say. Leather and white flowers. Is that all hmm. I smell? Name your favorite scent. Jasmine. You smell jasmine. Ooh. <laughs> My eyes flash a little bit. We need to go up. Mm-hmm. And I'll hit the penthouse button. All the way up to the top. All the way. All the way. <laughs> Ding. Lionel. Your little twat comes in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Hello, there's a Lionel. I don't think they you know what wouldn't little wait. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> I'm used to nine pushing past Nick and just waltzing in, mm -hmm. sitting yeah. down. Um, what does Rufus do? Oh, I'll wait. Outside. I look distracted, probably behind your little twat. Yeah. I grab there's a, the on. woman that uh, the caterer has gifted. And I push her toward Lionel and I say, a gift from her. And I'll nod my head toward the caterer. And is she in the room or is she outside as well? The caterer is waiting, waiting politely next to Alex. And how easy is it for me to just, just mesmerize this human food? <laughs> I'm going to say extremely easily. Do I need to roll for it? No. Then you as soon as she looks at me, I just tell, I immediately just mesmerize her and tell her, stand in the corner, face away. And I point to a corner next to my desk. She goes there. Um, I look to the door and then I look back to nine because there's suddenly a lot of people. And I say... You brought friends with you. Mm. Actually, they brought me. I didn't want to come this time. It's boring here, and it smells funny. Not you, of course. Anyway, there was a body on your porch, and we had to smell it, too, and it's... It's got blood coming out of its eyes and ears. Which is... Very well. Kind of interesting, but... I look to the people at the door and I... Um, I nod at Nick to allow them in. Nick turns around to Alex and the caterer and jet just opens the door and gestures. Yeah, I walk in. Do I know you well? Mm, we've probably met and talked a few times. The last time we met wasn't good, apparently. Then, yeah, I'll just... Mr. Alexander, please have a seat. Is there anything I can get for you? I had someone else here recently. I would like to shoot him the most filthy look that he would dare to question who I've had here, who, my, who I keep company with. Are you giving just a dirty look? 
are you trying to intimidate him? I think I'm trying to intimidate him, but not with any m magical, you know, powered. Okay, elements. because you do you do have that ability. I know, but <laughs> uh, let's let's figure out the dynamic here. Manipulation plus intimidation for Lionel, and composure plus etiquette, Rufus. And we will see who keeps their cool. It's not wrong again. I mean, I've got dice here. I could roll for you if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'll try roll. again. Roll 20, just being a bit slow today. I'll do it. So, Lionel, you get two successes. And you get one, Rufus. The rolls finally came so through. I <laughs> don't see it. Oh, yeah, I do. There it is. Oh? Oh, you both got three. Okay, because I did one IRL just to move things along. But, um... When he, um, when he gives me that look, I'll just sort of half return a smile and sit down like he asked. Oh, I'll turn to, to the uh, caterer as well and just mm -hmm. fire in. I'll lean into yeah. Alex and say, easy tiger. Mm. Can you smell that? Of course. She's been here. Perhaps. <laughs> um, I nod at Nick to close the door, and um, I will uh move to like again. There's like the area which can easily seat all of us, um, mm -hmm. and gesture towards the caterer to take a seat as well. Caterer silently takes a seat. Does Nick I, wait inside or outside? I would imagine Nick would go outside. He's probably got stuff to do if we've got a dead body on the porch. So, probably. <laughs> okay. I need to speak to him, but it's it can it can wait since these lot are all just dropping in. Um, oh, yeah. I uh, glance to nine, and I think I would shoot you a look as well, as if I don't. I think it would be quite the, um, you know, the look that like parents give you when you're in trouble, but you're on your way home. You're not home yet or you're out mm -hmm. and you know when you get home, you're in trouble. Maybe it's somewhere mm -hmm. along those lines, I think, but <laughs> but not so stern. It's not like a like a dangerous look necessarily. Mm -hmm. Just uh, yeah, I'm also um, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I shoot a look back that says was supposed to be my night off. I'm doing you a favor. I then turn to the caterer and say, um, are you not supposed to be removing this body? I am. But I found something else about it that I thought you might want to know. I have put it in a safe place. When she says that, do I know what it means? Put it in a safe place? Yeah. I don't think you do, no. Doesn't mean anything to me as in like, it's not like something that we would know. Okay. No. Well then, Spit it out. Of course. I would like to propose that, aside from my bo body disposal services, you owe me a boon 
and I'll tell you everything I know about this body. Just to bait the hook. I don't suppose you have anything to do with the Tremere, do you? I flash a look to Nines when she says Tremere. I look scandalized that she's speaking to Lionel this way. I... I'm not sitting down, by the way. I'm standing. Um... Mm -hmm. I say... The Tremere... The Tremere have always been... in power. Yeah. So, of course, I've had plenty of doings with them. Unless you are referring, of course, to this body, which has been dropped in my lap. Hmm. I'm not a fan of theirs either. They have things I care about in their position possession and if you promise to owe me a favor I can tell you why they dropped a body at your doorstep and precisely how did you come by this information I have eyes to see I looked through the body, Lionel. Well, Alex looked through the body first. Do you think, Alex, that was any sort of normal medical condition, assault on a person, that volume of internal bleeding? Hell no. She was scared. It just looked like somebody squeezed a little too hard. <laughs> there it is. Right outside Very well. your tower. A favor. Favors come in all shapes and sizes. I think I already know the one that I'd like. But just not who it's for yet. But would you be willing to provide protection for someone? Fine. Then I will tell you exactly what is outside your door. She hands over a scrap of paper that looks like it was torn from an old book, slightly yellowed, and puts it on your desk. I'm assuming you read it. What is it? It says if I can find what I wrote down um Dokon Shime which you would know Lionel because of your history that is Scandinavian not Scandinavian. Uh, that is... We Finish. In... Uh, Romanian. What does it translate to? 
It translates to we finish. Oh, we finish, I see. Okay. Um, and what does that mean to me? To you specifically? It means yeah. that this was torn out of a book. It's not something that I would recognize like... Okay. Hmm. Let me take a quick look. I don't... I don't think you would. I don't think you would recognize what book it's from. This was on the body, did she say? Yeah. She's clearly a spy. Didn't do a very good job. Do you think a spy with a message written on them that says, we finish, someone who failed their job? I think she was the spy. She failed. She's dead. But she was gutter trash. Spies are a dime a dozen. Who was this spy working for? I have very little idea, I'm afraid. So, somebody drops a body outside Not my tower. somebody. Whoever did it was tangling with a Tremere. Because a Tremere 100% killed this woman. to go for a minute. I'll be back. I'm going to leave. I look to uh, Nine. Is there a reason you brought him? We were out and he seems to know her very well. I believe she wanted him to accompany us. Practically a spy himself. Well, he's not here now. What does that paper say? I hand it to her. Hmm. I will paste it in the chat for you what it says. Uh, Josh, can I read the Romanian? You? Are you from Romania? No, I do have a very good education, but I am not from Romania. Okay. I would like you to roll me your intelligence academics plus one for your well-read. I will make an attempt to do that. If, if I get cooperation here. <laughs> if roll 20 wills it. Mm-hmm. An attempt has been made. Well, 20 denies you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. I hope this doesn't happen all night. Would you like Try me to again. roll it? Yeah. I think you might have to. There should be two coming through probably by the time you finish your roll. Yeah. And just to check, you've got five for that total, right? I have academics. Two academics, two, two. intelligence, and one for well read. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got 
One success. But you can re-roll three dice. Will you do that for me? Spend a point of willpower. Alright. Just click on one of the filled in things and it should turn to a thingy. That is significantly better. You have three successes. Oh. And roll 20 appears to agree with me. <laughs> that was chilling. You look at this. You're well read. This is absolutely from a book. You recognize the quality of the paper. It was probably made... Whew, a few hundred years ago. 300, probably. Mm -hmm. At least. It's in Romanian, as Lionel said. And you catch the edge of a symbol and just the fuzzy tear edges. Mm -hmm. Seems to be two bumps connected, like facing upwards. Does that mean anything to me? You're well read. It reminds me you of some um, some of the symbols of a possibly religious nature hmm. possibly uh planetary you know where the the various symbols for for planets in mm -hmm. hermetic specifically um symbology mm -hmm. there oh. are very few books that contain information about that you make a, an educated guess that this might be from the Hieroglyphic Monad. Would I have any reason to think that uh, Lionel would know what that book is? I don't know. And you called it the Hieroglyphic Monad? Yes. Does Lionel have any pens on his table? On his desk? Yeah. I'm going to take that down as a note on the piece of paper um, and write down just all of my thoughts real quick and then press it onto the desk and slide it over to him. Um, do I already know this information? That I have been able to no. gauge this. No, I think this is new to you. I uh, look to the just say, caterer. Not easy to come by. I, I nod at her and say to the caterer, mm. "Is there anything else?" Anyone that doesn't like the Tremere is good in my book. Hmm. I can find out who this spy is. Do a deeper investigation into this body before I dispose of it. Yes, very well. Good. Um, I'm sorry, is is that everything, sir? The protection. It is not for you? No. I don't need it. But someone I know might. And just so Good you don't have deck. to roll, I'm going to do a thing for you. <laughs> so we don't wait all night. Mm-hmm. So, Lionel, you notice the caterer's eyes very briefly flick to Nine when she's thinking about who might need protection. Uh, 
I'm in between the two of them with Lionel at standing at his desk. I'm probably mm-hmm. lounging, uh, super lounging right in front of his desk in a chair. And I assume she's behind me, so I do not see her eyes. Um, unless you were intentionally turning round to figure out what the fuck she's talking about. Oh, no. I'll, I'll be looking no? at Lionel, like, kind of mm-hmm. like, when can I go? Ooh. Yeah, let me just quickly check if I can show up the things that I roll for me. Um. And then chat might be able to see them. Okay, I can see them. I don't know if it turns up. It's not showing up in chat. Oh, it is showing up. I see. For yep. everyone else. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, Lionel, you notice that her eyes flick to nine. Very well. That will be all. If you find anything else out, you are welcome here. I will. Thank you. Um, she turns and leaves. She's not one for standing on parade. Good. Toodaloo. Enjoy your snack. Is Alex still outside? Where did he go? Yeah, where did Alex go? I'd like to know. I'm on the phone. I just called someone. Okay. Who have you called? Sophia. Okay. What do you want, Alex? Sophia. Hey, Jasmine. What do you want? <laughs> you know what I want. Well, I can't help you right now. I might be able to help you. <sighs> Go on. What do you know? You've been to Lionel's today? Yes. <laughs> Something interesting outside. You see that? I did. Are they blaming us? Of course they are. Not us, you should meet. Yeah, well, everything's gone to shit here, so. Maybe, maybe in a bit. Okay. I'm Is trying to place? figure out what happened, but it wasn't us. Looks like you. I know it does. It looks perfectly like us, but it's, you know, it would have been a ritual. We would have had to have been present, Jean and I, and we weren't. Finished your meeting. Mr. Alexander. Club business. Hmm. An opportune time for a phone call. Still got the VIP there for you, Lionel. (laughs) Sorry. got a nice place you can sit. (laughs) (laughs) Um. I flash Alex a look like you are playing with fire. Yeah, and I'm hungry and pissed off. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Would that make you angry? The insolence? Oh, yeah. Okay, make a rage check. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's... Yeah, okay. So what the hell is a rage check? So, uh, a frenzy check caused by someone pissing you off. 
If you scroll down to the very bottom of your sheet where it says core, there's a frenzy button. All right. If you click that, I think it comes up with a target number box? It comes up with the modifier box. Modifiers should be zero as far as I know. And then the difficulty. The difficulty for this one? I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to leave that to you. Should it be 2 or 3? Obviously 3 is more difficult. I would say Hmm, let me think about this a second. The hunger doesn't help anything. Um on top of that, we've got some sort of weird, I don't know what. I'm would I suspect blood magic here if it's Mhm. Mm yeah. Is, is what's oh, going yeah, on. Oh yeah, the caterer was talking about Tremere and blood magic and I've just I've just come back from the meeting with my sire. I am twice now he's waltzed in and, uh, you know, acted childish. I think nine, I am kind of in my head, like about to, I need to speak to her about something important and she's acting like a child as well. But that being said, like, um, remaining composed is extremely important to me, especially probably around mm. someone who's quite well connected, even though he's he's annoying. Um, okay. Well, you do have a an option aside from rolling it just before you do that. You can do the frenzy. Uh, you can choose to let the frenzy overtake you and just go with it. And instead of me controlling your actions, it will be you. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> what does it look like when Lionel loses it? Can I attempt to... Can I move quickly? I know I can't do, like, full celerity movement, but can I move you faster can move than... very fast. Then I would like to blur across the room, grab him by the... Uh, the chin, by the jaw... Mm -hmm. And squeeze pretty fucking hard, but not too hard, and yet remain completely composed in the face. Am I able to attempt to do that? You absolutely are. I think that sounds like a like I'm holding role? his jaw upwards, not allowing him to open it. Uh, the, Alex, the are, you, are you, you trying to dodge, or are you trying to get out of the way in some way here? Um... Not really, because I did antagonize him on purpose. Okay, well, in that case, Lionel, you get to roll against a difficulty of one. You roll your strength plus... Um, strength plus brawl, so obviously brawl first, because backwards. Okay. Now, how do I add some of my other stuff to this? Just, I might not do it, but I have other things that okay. I can do you do, to add, you do like, have, pluses um, and stuff. You have bonuses. If you spend blood, so if you roll a d10, you definitely get plus two dice on this. You call on the strength of your blood. And, but I, it, I probably don't need it, so I'll roll anyway. I just have to probably. beat a one, sorry. I'm not 100% sure. You just have to beat a one. Game. All right. <laughs> no. And no it is strength plus brawl, you said. Yes. Uh, oh, wait. Brawl plus strength. Yeah, sorry, right. Yeah. Uh, with no modifiers, because I'm not going to add any. I was just curious no. about how that worked, just because I don't um, fully know the game no, that's, that well. Sorry. That's fair enough. And it's rolled, but we have to wait for roll 20. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Shall I, I do forgot it? as well. So, uh, I'll, I'll see what happens when I do it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, you no, get two successes. Start. Okay. Mine, mine showed up at least, so we'll go with that one. Two successes. Fine. Cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love roll 20. Uh, Lionel. You... Uh, sorry, Alex. You take two points of superficial damage as your jaw creaks under the pressure of his fingers and you you mark that on your health track i don't know you you used it before right 
What family is he? Toreador. Clan Toreador. Clan, yeah. And their, what's their presence like? Manchester. Presence can be. Oh, and pre uh, their presence in Manchester is uh, relatively low key. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Overall, I grab him. They're a yeah, I I grab him by the 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 jaw here, and I lift up with it, and I squeeze. There's a creak, and I say. <coughs> All alone in my tower. Interesting. Tell me, did you not serve? I squeeze a little more and don't let him respond. I wonder which battalion. And I wonder what they would have done to you if you had showed them this kind of insolence. Let me tell you something. I will do much worse to you. And then I let him go. <laughs> Nino, you. you don't let him go. Your beast, mm. you've been allowed to take your beast to another level at this point. So I'm going to, would you like to make a roll to calm down or? Yes. Because you sat, you have shown him his place. Yeah. So, uh, do a, do a frenzy check. Plus one for putting him in his place, and then the difficulty is two. If this but bad things will happen if you way. fail this. Okay. It's fine. Hey, there we go. Three. That was quick. Ooh. There you are. You rein it in. The uncontrollable rage seems to become controllable. It's a part of you now. You rein it in and you let him go. A little warm in here. Perhaps the Welsh guards. Mr. Alexander. Interesting. Look around you at this city. The brick and mortar that I helped rebuild during your war. <laughs> Perhaps you should consider your place Especially when you find yourself out of place. I'm sure you understand, don't you, Alex? I, um, turn my face away from Lionel so that he can't see me smile at nines. Apologies. Perhaps we can put you to work. You have many contacts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you spend much time with the Tremere? No. I'm lying, by the way. Would you like to contest that, or would you like to take him at face value, Lionel? Can I say that I know he's lying? No. <laughs> no. But he's like the guy, though. He knows everyone. He knows a lot of people. He probably knows Tremere, but he's telling you he doesn't spend time with them. Um. Well, then, yeah, sure. I'll I'll attempt to hmm. um, see through uh, his lie. For you, Alex, that is a subterfuge plus charisma and for you a uh, uh, Lionel a insight plus wits do insight. I know if he's telling the truth or not 
Ooh, you can you also know make me a uh, no, insight um, plus definitely, wits. Nine definitely knows I'm not telling the truth. Oh, okay. Okay. Easy. Um, can I add, like, what is it? Blood browse checks and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yes. If you want to ensure that you get a bonus on this, uh, go to the bottom of core sheet where it says rails on the very bottom left. Click that. And that will make okay. you hungrier. Oh, if fine. you fail. Hunger game. Your hunger goes up by one. What are you at now? Okay. Four. Four. That is a dangerous place to be. But you do get plus two on your roll. Okay. And it was insight plus wits. Yeah? Yes. Plus two. Do I notice that Lionel is looking dangerous. He just jumped across a room and almost tore your friend's face off. I'm going to say yes. I always look dangerous. I'm going to retrieve the woman from the corner and lead her gently by the hand over to his desk um, and position her near him. Perhaps... You'd care for a nibble, Lionel. That's I Ooh. shoot nine a look again. This time it's particularly uh, cold. I do not and think I am used to seeing him lose control. I'd be very I, surprised if you've ever seen this, if I'm, I'm honest. I'm uncomfortable with this for a number of reasons, being a Ventru. So I am trying to help. Um, okay. With so just so you're I got all a three on my the, success for the other thing. And Alex, you got a three as well, right? So the thing here is on Alex's side because Lionel is so hungry he cannot use willpower to get any extra successes. Rufus, you're at one hunger. You can, if you spend a point of willpower to reroll th uh, three. You might get the edge. But I could also lose. What does an impasse mean? An impasse means I think I'm going to make you both roll d10s and see which one's higher. I'll, I'll spend a willpower then. And reroll subterfuge charisma. And we will wait oh, for uh, roll 20 to deliver us a roll. <laughs> wait, did you reroll the whole thing? Oh, was I not supposed to do that? No, you only reroll three to affect the successes oh, you guess already you... got. Oh, so I can hit the reroll button here. Oh, uh, no. No, you can't hit the reroll button because <laughs> so, this entire sheet is n very imperfect. I'll just reroll three for you, shall I? I can, I can, three details. That'll work. I think it's the sheet. Is it? Yeah, it's the sheet. Oh, there you go. Okay. Whew. Well, in that case, you get two extra successes. There's extra rolls happening. Fucking. Ignore this. this is. Ugh. Sorry, everyone. Right. Rufus. I keep on calling you Rufus. You like Alex. Who calls you Rufus? Lionel, um, when he's not super pissed off with me. <laughs> Alex, you win this contest. In a very, very rare instance of someone getting a lie past Lionel. It's a really good thing for you. <laughs> I um, completely ignore Nine for a moment and say... Um, well, perhaps it's time that you got to know some of them. Sir Charles? Any of them who can provide me with information if I come to you. <laughs> I don't work for free, I know. Of course not. I would not expect such a thing. What are you offering? We shall see what you need. If 
You provide me with information. Perhaps I can provide you with something that you desire. A favor. We'll see. That will be all. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'll just nod to him as he goes. You close the door I after you? Actually, I would probably hold the door open for nine and then close it. Oh, I'm staying. Oh, you're I'll staying. Nod, I'll nod oh, okay. to you as you leave. I see you. Oops. I'll see you later. I wait to see if Lionel takes a drink. I'm going to sit here quiet for a moment. I don't. I stand there with my back to you, but I speak to you and I say, My mother died in the Middle Ages. Mm -hmm. Do you think I need to be babied? Do you think after all these years, I don't know how to feed myself? Of course not, but I've never seen you lose control. If you think that is me losing control, then you are severely misplaced. I, I look cowed. You have been under my direct care for long enough now to have earned a position of influence in this city. I want to tell you something, but don't take this the wrong way. In your present state, I fear to. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I are. will... Um, I will turn to her and I will look at her, but I think I will um, gesture towards the door. Return in 30 minutes. Yes. I leave immediately. I probably even scurry a little bit. Uncharacteristic. Lionel, are you going to feed? Yes. The moment that door closes. The woman is relatively vacant, but even... I'm not going to make you roll for this. Even you realize that this is not your preferred type of meal. Just Wait, so we're clear, uh, what? I, I wanted to um, d talk about that because I'm not 100% sure what that means. Mm -hmm. With preferred type of meal, what is that in reference to? Is that like the state That's... they're in or their blood type or who, like how old they are, who they are? What's the reference? So as a, as a Ventru, you have a very, or oh, widely, doesn't have to be uh, hyper-specific, like... Uh, Women on a Tuesday, it can be as specific as that, or it can be, like, all men. But you can only feed uh, efficiently without, like, really, really trying to force it down. You have a specific kind of prey that you prefer. What is that for Lionel? Um... I think it's, I think it's actually someone who is competent. Someone who has to be hunted well. 
So, so for, for the majority of my time as a vampire, and for a lot of it, I spent it in some sort of military position. So mm -hmm. I would have to feed on battlegrounds and war zones and things like that. Um, so probably quite often I was coming up against other military types and PMCs and stuff like throughout the years and stuff like that. So people who are um, people that, that literally have to be hunted a deserving prey Piranha has written in the chat which is good. Somebody who you know somebody who is um, someone who would fight back. Someone who would fight back and I think I actually don't like the taste of fear. That kind of thing. Um, okay. I also am a fan of clean blood. So, just, you know, clean. No um, disease, no... Uh, no Sickness alcohol. Anemia. Yeah, nothing... Yeah, just, just healthy blood, I guess, might be a better way to put it. But Lionel refers to it as clean. Um... But I think somewhere in there, yeah. So if they've brought me somebody who is, you know, just someone, it's probably quite difficult to find a, a really good um, drink for me it's now. Difficult. So I'm probably, mm -hmm. maybe a lot of the time, I'm not actually enjoying my meals. Maybe that's why I'm so hungry. More and more I get to this point. Well, here's your decision, Lionel. Because of your age, because of your tenure, if you want to drink from this person, you're going to have to spend two points of willpower. Yeah. Um, okay. Two? Two. What happens if I don't, I become more hungry and I, I pretty much can't? I, go, I will go ape shit, right? <laughs> um, it will be extremely easy for you to lose it, yeah. Um, okay. There's no other thing I can do. You can go out and hunt. No, I'm too busy for that and too... Alright, fine. I'll spend the two willpower. Do I have to roll as well or I just spend the... The points. I'm gonna say as you've already had your frenzy, normally I would make you do it when you've taste blood at hunger four, but you've already uh, let yourself go this evening. Hey, you know what? I've changed my mind. We will test a frenzy. <laughs> so I have to roll we frenzy. We will to roll frenzy again. And no modifiers? Because, yeah, because I want to know if you kill this woman. Uh, you don't get any modifiers. And the difficulty is three. Wonderful. You take a lot of blood from her. You're old. It's become more difficult to satiate yourself with just one person. You are old enough, however, to know that if you really want the beast removed from you for just a short while, you can kill this woman. So instead of it being forced on you by the beast because you did your frenzy, you passed, you can choose whether to kill this woman or not. If you do kill her, you go down to hunger zero. If you don't, you go to hunger one. And what are the consequences of killing her? You have a dead body. You have to deal with a dead body. You have to deal with a dead body. And the caterer is always looking to clean up dead bodies. Yeah. Caterer's already given me a load of fucking shit. I'm about to pay top dollar for nothing. I don't want to see her again. She provided a service. Normally the favour would be... A piece of paper that was on the body on my doorstep. She gave me my own 
set of shoes. Um, <laughs> where I'm in character. Uh, <laughs> two, but yeah, one foot funny. in character. Yeah, I'll kill this woman. Kill this Go woman. Go to hunger zero. You have a dead woman in our, your office. Kater is probably still outside. I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what you do with this dead body after a break. Holy shit! So I, good! I literally so good. can't. Oh my gosh. Uh, so well, good. Peachy. Ooh. Yeah, just I so what, didn't want to have to what, do that, but wow, you know. <laughs> wow! I'm sitting there going, dude, my my fucking dude here is so pissed off. He's already so hungry. He's so fucking. He's also, I feel like, kind of freaking out and having like a fucking crisis of self almost after the um request. I feel like Alex tries to antagonize you all the time, but you never snap. And then yeah, you yeah, it's like this. you just walk. It's bad timing. Yeah. It was really um, good, Was it though. bad timing, though? I feel like we learned a lot. Well, it's bad timing in the sense that, like, two things, three things, four things have pissed him off. He's also kind of confused and trying to work stuff out. He's desperate to just... Like, everyone dropped in as well. You know? <laughs> he's prideful. Everyone just shows up, wanders in. Alex is like, yo, what's up, boy? And he's like, you have zero respect and you're a fucking soldier. You know, if there's one person that I should be able to trust in this room, it's not this petulant child <laughs> that's wandered in, not this complete stranger who offers fucking services. It should be the other soldier, and you walk in and show absolutely zero respect. Then I was like, yeah, he's probably going to fucking snap. Yeah, it's normal for me to roll in, especially off some high off some drunk rich boys, but I oh, think yeah, bringing I think Alex that's... with me is kind of... And it, it's probably happened before, mm. and probably Alex has just said some stuff, and I've just been like waving it away. I like, guess. Oh, whatever. Yeah. You know? Like and my yeah, the kid who brings her childish friend over. You know, it's like okay, mm -hmm. go. You know, go play outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so didn't want to have to snap as as Lionel at all, but like the hunger and shit. And it I'm was like, so good. Shut up. Yeah. It was so Yuck. good. It I was it. so Yuck. good. <laughs> Yeah, it makes my job well, easier. Let's... I had stuff lined up to talk to you, but whatever. We'll <laughs> no. let's I, go to I, a break. I can't help it, man. I will destroy. I yeah. destroy myself. GM doesn't need I'm to like... torture us because we're doing it ourselves. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but yeah, let's yeah, we're gonna take a quick way. break. Yeah, we're gonna take a couple minutes. So this is your chance to um, get up, stretch, uh, take a bio break, wash your piss mittens, come back. I did want to shout out. Does anybody remember what it was? My brain has completely forgotten um, an entire. We... The Iowa packing. Iowa packing. Right? Yeah. They've got yes. like a crew of 60 people watching and while they work. So just quick shout wow. out because that's fucking Whoa. awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. They're they, packing uh, dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you work for the caterer? Yeah. Exactly. Well, you do she now. has some they jobs do. for you. <laughs> we do now. All right. So we'll be back momentarily with more leech. Welcome back to Table Stories Leech. Welcome back, everyone. We're beginning with Sophia. Where did you go after you left the Beeston Tower? I went home, of course. Okay. Or at least I tried to. What? What's your home like? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean my actual apartment. Although I can see oh. why there was confusion. I meant back to the Tremere. So I imagine this is going you to go. blow up in our faces very quickly. Ah. Uh, well, in that case, if you go 
to Cheatham College, you see, as you enter, a hive of activity. Vassar is standing there, ordering people around. As soon as you walk through the door, he just goes, HALT! I stop in my tracks. Beckons to someone. They hand him something, and he walks over to you. What is it that he was handed? You see a necklace. Is it like an amulet? Where were you? Yeah, it's like an amulet. Beast and Tower. I lost five minutes of time. Uh, Jean was there as well. And some other body. It doesn't look great. Does he look pissed at me? There's... He, he looks pissed in general. Okay. I didn't exactly end up where I wanted to be either. Wear this if you want to get into the Tremere Chantry without excruciating pain. We have increased our wards. After an attack on the Chantry... Just now. That is what you felt, correct? I don't know what I felt. I felt something, and then I I showed up standing in front of the Beast and Tower. Mm. With an ancient, I might add. And fast food. Put that on and follow to me to my office. I will absolutely put it on and immediately start following him. You feel the faint electric hum in the air of blood magic having been done recently it's stronger than it usually is in the chantry <sighs> tell me everything can i <laughs> can i simply let him enter my mind Hmm. I feel like we have that kind of relationship. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll do that. If if he's uh, if you say that, then yeah. Oh, I won't even. I feel like we have that kind of relationship where he says, "Tell it's me unspoken. everything," and I just kind of sit back and let him. You sit down. He um takes out a little silver bowl, bleeds into it, draws an eye on your forehead. And then offers his hand out to you. Do I take his hand? What do I usually As need part to of the do ritual, here? yeah. Yeah, the ritual. Okay, then yeah, I'll take his hand. Both of you close your eyes and images flash before you. You see the dead people, the one that you made eat the other, your sire removing the other. You see yourself as if from a third person perspective, wobbling, teetering, and for five minutes, Everything swirls around you. There's pure confusion and pain. But you see yourself walking. For those five minutes? For five minutes. Mother. Okay. And then you see yourself and Jean. Can someone I see anything blood. around me? When I'm walking, or is it just dark? Oh. Let's do a resolve plus a cult. Ooh, okay. I can do that. Let's 
So resolve first, then occult? Uh, sorry, occult first, then resolve. Okay. Two successes. Would you li- like to re-roll two of them to increase uh, what you see? How how successful is just two? Do I want to re-roll two of them? Um, or is this good enough success? You probably do want to re-roll two. Then I will do that, yes. Yeah, re-roll two and spend a point of willpower to okay. do that. Okay, now, um, I don't just hit this re-roll button here, correct? No. Okay, that's what we learned from PG. Okay. Um. Oh, there it is. Willpower reroll. Just that's do that twice. One. Oh no, I see. Uh, re-roll it should be dice. a pop-up okay. with a. Not twenty-three, thing. just two. Thank you. Oof. Two successes. Right. What you do feel is. Uh that pain again in your ear as you try to stretch your memories to almost a breaking point. Everything around you was a blur of colors, green and silver. Green and silver? Do I smell anything? Not with two successes. I can't see where I am. I've tried. Don't worry. There are greater things in this world than you. And to contend with them, you must learn about them. The power of your blood is insufficient. But you have an advantage. You have the Chantry and its vast library. Tell me, have you heard anything about a man known as John D? No. Tell me more about him. He was an occultist. He gets up off his table and points to two burn marks. Here, there is a rumor associated with this table that the devil's hooves burnt this shape into them after he summoned them. Can I touch the table? You can touch the table. Oh, I 100% do that. What are the, the, do they look like hoof marks? They look like circular burn marks. Uh, Filled in, there's no hoof print. Then I just, but they are two of them. Yeah, I run my hands over the burn marks while he's talking. And the reality of the matter is unclear to me but what we do know is that he spent a significant amount of his later years researching angels communion with divine beings of course the church ran him out of Manchester but some of his ideas remained and I've noticed that that library I mentioned has a few volumes missing which volumes they are the hieroglyphic monad John Dee's work can I get copies elsewhere yes these were old editions with a different translation 
Is that for a different kind of sorcery? But there are some in English. You can get it freely. I think they've even published it in full on the internet. Okay, I'll look into it. Just those volumes missing. As far as I can tell. I'll read it tonight then. Is that not enough? No. It's more than enough. Arm yourself with this information. And please keep an eye on Lionel. Never took him for an ambitious man, but he is the same clan as that fellow I asked you to find earlier, did ye? He might know something. What else do you know about Lionel? Hmm. What would you like to know? I do research on most people that exist here. Do we have any other information on him? Do we have a file on him? I could write you one. I would very much like that. He has his fingers in many pies. Politics, business, criminal. Nothing I can't handle. Well, I'd like to know... What it is, all the same. For some reason, I was at his doorstep today. Hmm. Someone is pushing pawns upon the board, Miss LaRue. Ooh, I Don't become you one little of them. Like that. He rarely calls me by my last name. You can see that he's a little unsettled. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't see the entire picture, and that is what scares me. Don't mistake devils for angels. Never. They'll both bring you promises of power. It's not power I want. You know that. I don't think you need any more. A girl can dream. <sighs> One final warning. Considering the events prior to your displacement, I would like you to show a little compassion. If and when you find Didier Perrand. Oh, I'm so disgusted right now. <laughs> Remember your place. Compassion, yes. Of course. Do I know if he has history with this guy that he's asking me to be compassionate with? Because I'll fucking rip his um. heart out. <laughs> um, from the way he talks about him and the way he talks about other people that you've met, mm. oh, does it he doesn't seem him? like it. Okay. Then why? Oh, brain is triggered. Okay. I mentally add a note to read these books from John D. and then also really really dig deep as to why he asked me to be compassionate to this guy he must know him or have a soft spot for him and I, I just want to know do you ask him no it's half the fun is figuring it out for myself very well <laughs> He dismisses you, uh, hands you a tissue to wipe the blood off your forehead. OK. 
Okay, I will take that and I'll wipe the blood off my forehead and then I... Oh yeah, okay, I'll leave. Yep. I'll leave quietly. I don't say anything else. Okay. Where do you go next? I'm assuming the library. Uh, actually, actually, yeah, I'll check my phone. Is, is the work of John D available that I can just grab? It is. Oh, then yeah, fuck the library. I'll go home to my laptop. All right. And I'll probably... How long has it been since the phone call? When did that phone call take place? Or is that happening now on my walk? I think... On? Yeah, you, you mentioned to him the specifics of what was going on on the Chantry. So I would say that it was on your walk home. Okay, so now is when yeah. I have the call. Okay, then probably when I get home, I will... That's the first thing I do is I I pull up this John D information and I see if I can get if he sent me that file on Lionel and I just read I want to know about this John D person and what this what he wrote about and then I want to know I want to know more about Lionel. Okay, let's with your excitement, see exactly how much information you absorb. Okay. That sounds like a academics plus intelligence role. One success. You walk and read but there's a lot going on in your head so i need you to make me a different role awareness plus wits Ooh, i know what that means two successes would you like to re-roll two Yes, if you're giving me the opportunity to do that, sure, why not? It's you a, can spend it's a point willpower. of willpower. Mm -hmm. Is this a... Um, actually, let me think about this for a moment. I'm at home? You are not at home yet. Okay. You're browsing as, as you On walk. On my phone? Okay browsing my phone I think I'm too if this is an awareness check I'm not going to re-roll it because I don't think I'm I think I'm focused on something else okay you get home oh my god <laughs> sorry someone following me home holy shit okay okay I'm home on my fucking laptop let's go <laughs> You, yeah, uh, now that you're home, there's no extras because uh, you unfortunately failed your academics role. But mm -hmm. uh, what you do get is um, one or the other, Lionel or John D. Ooh, that's a toss up because John D are the books that are missing. It might give me more of a picture there. However, my sire was scared slash nervous about not seeing the big picture. And I think there was a reason I was at Lionel's doorstep. And I want to impress my sire, Lionel. Lionel. What your sire appears to have found out about Lionel is that he has a significant amount of criminal contacts. Ugh, boring. Um, Nassar isn't exactly sure where, but he definitely has a plant in the local government. A little bit more interesting. Um... 
I overheard pieces of a conversation when I was there. You did. He asked for Jean's help, and then... I want to look for anything that might be related to that. Probably nothing, but that's what I'm looking for. Related to Jean? Yeah. Like, surely there's his history here, right? Like, how old he is, and... Or do we not get the that The age kind of info? is a bracket okay. that is... Uh... Hang on, I just need to check exactly how old he is. That's my timeline. Um, it's anywhere between 400 and 600 years old. Okay. He came and is currently using the name of a small town called Orsova, which is in Romania. Okay. I think I and ruminate on all this info that I find. Unless, sorry, re was I about to find something else? No, I, I was just thinking about what you find related to Jean, and it's probably nothing. Yeah. Aside from the fact that they both exist in Manchester and therefore most likely know each other. But I know they know each other because of what they said yeah. in the room. I'm intrigued. All right, I will probably... What time is it now? It's probably getting towards sun up, which That's is 60, uh, 6.55 today. And so how probably, hungry am I? You, I don't know. I don't know. How hungry are you? I mean, what is... Uh, should say. Yeah, what is... um. Let me just pull it up. I don't know what it means by the... Um, uh, hung oh, hunger at the very bottom of your sheet. Two. What do the two dots mean? Like, am I two. really hungry? Two is... There's a, a slight uh, loss of control there, but nothing you can't handle. Okay. One is normally where most vampires stay. Uh, three and onwards will become a problem. But and do, two you can handle. Do you gain one each day, or how is it? You roll a dice to see if you gain one each day. Oh, okay. Well, then Which, we'll see. Yeah, roll a d10. Okay. Uh, there's also the rouse check button oh. at the bottom of the sheet. And it looks fancy. Oh, my God. Six. I'm good. You succeed. You do not get any hungrier just for waking up the next night. Okay. Then I, I think, will then I will skip hmm. it. I will just pour over these books and this information on Lionel. And you know what I actually think that I do? And Brad, feel free to stop me here. Um, I think I do what I do when I'm interested in any vampire at first and I start trying to find them in history, but I I can't find him. It's like he has sort of scrubbed himself or I can't find anything about his old town and I'm just kind of diving in and looking for that info and I'm assuming because of my role, I don't find anything more about him. So, no. which I just find very intriguing. So I have a question. Sure. Before we move to someone else, which is how did you feel in the presence of a four, maybe 500 year old predator. <laughs> I was trembling and excited. At first I thought he was pretty boring, but now I'm thinking otherwise. It felt really good. And I had to stand outside the room and collect myself. And spy, of course. Yes, of course. All right, we will move to Jean. 
After you left, left the Beeston Tower, where did you go? I think I went back to my apartment. Yes. Okay. <laughs> What's your apartment like? Humble. Clean. Um, pretty bare walls. Um, simple, simple decor. Yeah. Crosses everywhere. <laughs> mm, they don't keep the vampires out, do they? No, they do not. And what are you doing in your apartment? I'm thinking about a conversation with Lionel. It was interesting because of course I know that he isn't telling me everything. And I'm a little bit curious about how quickly I said yes. It felt right. I I'm guess I'm confused as to why I'm not more hesitant. I have a question for you. As yeah. lights begin to fill your room, how much control do you want over yourself as uh, as your friends begin to talk to you? A small amount. I would like to stay composed and be respectful, but it does feel so good to see them. Okay. Would you like to spend a willpower point to increase your control as their presence fills the room? And you can feel yourself, you feel the pain in your hands, stigmata, you can feel that overtake you a little bit. And their whispers are almost incoherent. Yes, I'll like spend that willpower. Yes. Okay. The pain subsides. And an old friend steps forward. And instead of being blinded by the light, you just you see the outline. step forward and begin to say heaven and hell the damned and the divine came to clash but it was god's messenger vanquished yes is is there Something I can do. You've already done it. Perfect. It's good to see you. And you, my dear. Tell me. 
Do you feel damned or divine? Divine. Divine. Always divine. Am I? Bloodlines. Trickle down the Danube. The red fruit grows. It's on tail. What would you have me do? Put a crown on him. Yes. I will. It was always what I was good at. As they start to recede, is there anything else you would like to say? Will it be soon? The wheels are in motion. I've waited a long time, you know. Seats. Am I still bleeding from my hands? It stopped. Okay. I collapse to the floor. I want to cry. Would you like to? Yes. Would you like to cry tears or blood? Blood. Then you don't need to do anything. I feel a resolve about my decision. And now I feel as though I must begin planning to put a crown on his head. Hmm. How might I do that? Would you like some insight? Yes. Well, to call upon your insight, you can use any number of your powers. A premonition, perhaps? I think that could be useful. Roll a rouse check to see if you get hungrier by using this power. In fact, roll two. Okay. And take the highest. I believe it's taking a moment. Mm. Unless I've done something wrong. <laughs> no, we'll blame Roll20. 
Okay. Let's just say that you don't gain hunger. Oh. Oh. Thanks for all 20. Great timing. <laughs> you fucking dick. Uh, well, in that case, you need to roll your resolve plus your or specs plus one. And Ooh. that should be next to where it says all specs on your sheet. Mm -hmm. I just oh. press that button. Oh. That what? Press, uh, press the button next to the, where the drop boxes are, and then add one in the Thank thingy. You. Ooh, two. Would you like to increase the likelihood of finding something useful here? Yes. Then you can re-roll three dice if you spend a point of willpower. I would like to do that. Um... So sorry to ask. So then I just roll... How do I uh, roll three individual dice? Three, three d ten. Thank you. Sorry. No. Let's see if you uh, three successes. You focus your mind and your blood. And what are you focusing on? Or who? Or when? Oh. I think I'm focusing on when I would crown, when Lionel would be crowned, and who is there, and who is not there. You if see he's yourself. <laughs> oh. You're focusing on Lionel being crowned. You see yourself in a difficult to discern dark room. You have the crown in your hands. And amongst you is, well, Alex, Nine, Sophia, you. And the caterer. It's a very interesting collection of people. Hmm. You see the corpse of an old friend. And many other people you would recognize as Tremere. Who is this old friend? A man by the name of John. John D. Oh! Yes. Hmm. Wait. Does it make sense to me that he's there? That's up to you. Does this feel like a full premonition, or does it feel like bits and pieces? Feels like bits and pieces. Okay, okay. All right. Um, may I ask one other question? Mm-hmm. Is DeGrell there? Is he dead? DeGrell is not there, and he is not among the corpses. Shame. All right. Um. Well, that's very interesting to me.
Is that everything that I get from my premonition? You also see a young man. He's the man in the cathedral that you spoke to. Harry. Harry. Interesting. He's standing between you and... He's standing between you and Lionel. And you know that if you want your friend back, if you want John back, you're going to have to go through him. Who is Harry? Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Well, um, in that case... I would... Is, do I think that there's a way that I can find John D? Hmm. Would you like to try another premonition? Yes, I would. Let's... I'm, I'm going to roll it this time for you. Okay. You don't get Thank hungrier. You. As you search your... Mind palace? <laughs> Whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Your visions. All the while you can hear a much deeper, more guttural version of your whispers. Mm. As you search through this place in your mind. And... Mm. Would you like to do it or shall I do it? The, uh, the, or the roll. Uh, if you would do the roll, that would be amazing. Yeah, right then. Oh, just so you're aware, you can get an extra two dice on this if you do another rouse check to see if you get hungry. You can force your blood. You can concentrate the powers that you have to an even greater degree. I would like to do that, yes. Shall I roll that as well then? Let me, let me try. Oh, mm. there we go. Ah. You don't get hungrier. You do get two more dice. Josh is slow at counting. Don't worry. <laughs> you got four successes. You can re-roll three if you want to spend willpower on this as well. I think I have spent quite a lot of willpower <laughs> tonight, so I might hold off this time. For successes, you can you can search this body of John D. And suddenly he's alive. You're looking... Um, oh, sorry, please. I was just going to say... While I'm in experiencing this, does it feel real to me? No. Okay, okay, thank you. It's more like a dream, probably? Hmm, I okay. think so. All right, thank you. No, that's okay. Uh, you see him... You see... Water. He's standing under an arch, and there's a woman in front of him. The woman who was vomiting her own blood. McDonald's woman. McDonald's woman. I... Did he send her? 
in this moment, you can see that same confusion you feel or felt when you appeared in front of the Beast in Tower and the same thing appears to be affecting him and this woman. Okay. But John D has her by the throat and you can see her screaming in pain. You can't hear her, but you can see her. Um, does this scene, is this highly unusual to me? My knowledge of John. Your knowledge, I believe... Something would have had to change. Yes. Since you knew him. Yes. All right. Okay, I feel... Is there a way for me to find out where he is? Hmm, that was your initial question. You... I think you see drips of blood leading off into the darkness from this location that you have burned into your mind. Mm -hmm. And they lead... They lead off into the darkness and you can't follow them. Okay. But this location that's burned into my mind, I know where that is, right? It's somewhere beside one of the several rivers in Manchester. You recognize the architecture. This is probably somewhere along the river Urquell. Okay. The Urquell passes by the cathedral. Yes. I would like to go there. What time is it? It is getting towards sunup. Okay. But you have some time. You walk along the Urquell? Yes. There's a variety of people, drunk, not drunk, scurrying home, late night stands, people getting ready for the day, getting ready for jobs, picking up rubbish, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I would like you to make a four specs plus resolve roll. All right. Plus one, of course. Five successes. As you walk, you get further away from the cathedral. Or, no, I suppose you would, from your apartment, go to the Urquell and then walk towards the cathedral. That's yes. way. That's how you feel. As you get closer, you walk on the side of the cathedral and you don't notice anything. There's a really nice uh, paved area with some I'm currently not running water fountains and a uh, geometric statue, some shops. You walk down there 
across the bridge from the cathedral, and you see the archers underneath, on the opposite side, in a probably two-story tall piece of brick wall that borders the river. You remember a long time ago that these people used to go on passenger canals, canal boats. There were cargo going in and out. They called them Victoria Archers. Hmm. At some point, they must have break them up. And at some point since then, someone must have cast an illusion because you see right through these brick walls. What do I see? It's dark in there. Each arch has its own room. Some of them are connected, some of them aren't. You see public toilets. Dilapidated. But you are starting to get the hint, the sniff of blood. Mm. But the sun is coming up. <sighs> Damn. How long do I have? Not very long, hey? I think you were in somewhat of a, a fuge state. Okay. Not yeah. fully paying attention to the passage of time. But you think you know where your vision comes from now. Okay. Okay. Um, do I have time to get back to my apartment? Barely. As you stumble through your door and begin your security procedures... You feel the weight of the sun begin to crush you as your animation fails you and you only just get to your safe space before nothing. And I believe Lionel and the final thing happening on this very long day in September is Lionel and Nine. You have a dead woman in front of you, Lionel. There's one minute until Nine gets back. Um, I sit at my desk and wait for Nine to come in dead body just on the ground in front of my desk. Nine, you come in, you see an exsanguinated body. Unmoving, clearly dead. Looks like we need to call the caterer. You can call the caterer. I shall leave it to you to dispose <sighs> of. Understood. I go and uh, sit down in front of his desk. But not before a brief conversation. Lionel, you were lied to. I'm unused to you getting so hungry. Alex was not truthful with you. About the Tremere. Precisely. You suspect he is one of them? No. I suspect he associates with them a great deal more than he led on. He will be no ally of ours. Anything for the clan? Hmm. And I turn to, uh, to go see if the caterer is still cleaning up things downstairs. 
you go downstairs and the place is as if there were never anyone there. Mm-hmm. I will return. She, she like slaps off some, uh, some marigold gloves that are covered in blood and uh, wraps them together and puts them in a pocket. It even smells nice now. Um, unfortunately, we have another mess upstairs. And I'll just hold her gaze. I'm afraid... Does he do this often? The meal wasn't quite his like. Well, that's what happens when you don't ask for what you want. I provide a service. It's not my fault if he doesn't use it properly. I did ask. I just sort of smirk at her and I head back in. Two bodies and the secrets of a spy. This protection better be good. His everything is good. And I'll disappear into the elevator. I'm not sure if she's following me or not. Yeah, she follows you. I hope so. Tremere aren't going to fuck themselves. (laughs) They won't need to. I trust that your evening was enjoyable? No, it was interrupted, is what it was. That boy you were playing with. That's Alex's. It was. Hmm. Must have traded something pretty good to get that for yourself. Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? I'd like to know everything, but I haven't the time. I just eye her suspiciously. I'm going to head into uh, to Lionel. Lionel. Does the caterer come, come in? in as well? Caterer comes in as well. Does she begin removing the body? Uh, yeah. I sit quietly while she does that. Do you require anything more of me this evening, Lionel? Yes. Take a seat. Very well. Continue to sit quietly while the caterer does a thing. However long it takes. Yeah, I look like a statue. Um, she checks her over, sees the fang marks. Mm, no, you're probably you're probably smarter than that. She checks the neck and various other points where people tend to bite. Um, and, uh, puts her into a body bag, picks her up and says, if that's all. We will see you soon enough, I'm sure. If I find out anything else, good night. As soon as she leaves, I look to Nine and say, Surrounded by allies for a price. (laughs) Allies. She's a fiery one, I'll give her that. I wouldn't call her an ally. Mm. Tools. Several tools. Hopefully useful tools. It takes more than... Favors to muster up the strength of an ally. In 
indeed. She insulted you, you, you know. I care not what she thinks of us or the other one. Nor do I. We have important work to begin now. I just lean in. I'm interested. You have not been in this city under my care long enough to know how I truly work. Go on. You arrived here by unpropitious means, but you have earned your place in this clan nonetheless. And you are a member of this family now. Yes. Do you know of a Tremere who goes by the name Vassa? Only by name. I suspect they wish to have him succeed the throne. Really? <laughs> and Lofty we will need to plans. remove him. We shall remove him and replace him as soon as possible with one of our own. It is natural for Ventru to lead, of course. I shall sit the throne. I like this plan. There is another. Sophia LaRue. Mm. I'll be honest, I don't dislike her. She is popular. Perhaps they would like to place such a popular position on her as well. Maybe to inspire their ranks, as it were. Do you mean that she would rule? Unlikely. But be a right hand to Vasa. As he is currently to de Grill. She was here earlier, wasn't she? Yes. We smelled her. Alex smelled her. Something suspicious is afoot. Hmm. I think so. We shall need to move quickly, wisely, and mercilessly to remove and replace these individuals. Anything for the clan. I shall begin the positioning of pieces to take the throne. I wish for you to use your contact to get close to the Tremere. I believe I can do that. I need information and power over Vasa and Sophia. Hmm. I'll see what I can manage. Act cautiously. Always. You are not a child any longer. <laughs> You're always reminding me of that. We have the support of a very powerful Malkavian mm. Jean be very careful not to divulge that information of course she does reek of power though That will be all. Right. Good night, Lionel. You may want to communicate to the caterer if you plan any future meals. She seems confused as to your tastes. Be well. Then I'll turn and go.
Okay. Lionel, do you do anything? On your own? It's close to sun up. I'd like to summon Nick very quickly. Mm hmm. Nick goes in. Yes, sir. It has been a very busy night. The woman who was here earlier on, Sophia. Um, the one with the glasses, sir? Yes. Check our security cameras of where she went, what she did. Of course, sir. And me to... Send the footage to me as well. Yes, sir. Ensure we have images of her with the body outside. Very well. Did you discover anything on the body? The body was uh, cigarettes, blood, puke. Remain alert. Of course, sir. Would you like me to increase security? Yes. Get as much information about this, uh, Sophia, as possible. Thank you, Nick. Um, before I go, sir, um, he proffers a thumb drive. This is the footage we have of what happened outside. Um, I know you like these destroyed sometimes, but I have copies of it. We need to Good. blackmail someone. Yes. That's all, sir? That will be all. He turns and leaves. How long have I got before sun up? Maybe 15 minutes. I'm having a look. You look at the security footage. Or at least you try. Tell me, how does Lionel fare with technology? I thought about this a lot. And I actually think he's not bad with it. I will tell you why. Okay. Now, I don't have the thing. I know there's a thing for, like being old. Now, I'm not going to say I'm good with technology. No hacker level. Mm. I know that the older we get, the more we can struggle with, with technology, but Lionel is a military man, and technology is progressed because of military reasons a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And I think he would be aware of that. And a lot of the the many, many conflicts that he probably was involved in, he probably understood that and would have understood that over time. And even though I think on a, on a natural level he struggles with it, I still think he's relatively okay with it, if that makes sense. Okay. Because he's just so interested in it from a military perspective. It has a lot of applications. Always... Right. Okay. And so because of well, that, I think he understands a lot of this stuff. Not well, though. Despite your age, you've actually got dots in it. So, yeah, I'm going to say there's no difficulty here. Yeah. Because I know because there was a, a time 
when that was different. Yeah, it's, but it's not like great though. I don't think he's like, you know, a whiz kid. But I just think you'll he survive. understands it. Yeah, you're yeah, you'll survive in a modern age. You look at the footage, and you see grainy footage of security cameras looking down, and you see yourself go in to the uh, to the main door as the woman kind of wobbles by and after a couple of seconds standing there she falls over and is sitting there for maybe a minute or two and slowly convulsing coughing up blood and then it begins to pour in greater and greater volume and that's when you see green grass at the edge of the camera view sprout out of the slab pavement and seemingly confused both Jean and Sophia walk from that direction you see them begin to have a conversation about the person in front of them. Um, any chance in all of my many years I've seen any of this, any of this kind of sorcery before, or any, or any ideas of what it might be? Clues? Anything? Hmm. Let's do. I'm going to make you do two rolls. One of them is a cult plus intelligence, and another we will do after. One. One success. I'm not going to say it's worth free rolling, to be honest. You, you would need to get successes on both of them, I feel. You have not witnessed this. You're assured that there was mare magic present on the body but that doesn't explain this green grass elsewhere do a wits plus academics roll plus one for your history of war rolled but it's not there yeah it's rolled <laughs> it will take there it is three successes you see in the corner of this corner shot just flashes of something else it seems to be red maybe brown you see just at the edge of the camera's vision for a moment a single frame. A soldier. In medieval armor. With a horse be behind him. That looks like... If you had to guess, probably... Well, it looks like something that would appear on the Bayo Tapestry. William the Conqueror's kind of time. Hmm. All right, I shut it down. I go to rest. I keep the thing on me, the thumb drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone. Uh, unless, Sophia, you've already done it. Uh, a rouse check. Yeah, you did do it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Um, everyone else, please roll me one rouse check to see if you get hungrier for waking up the next night. Do I have to take another one if I taste that blood? No. Okay. 
Um, okay. Jean, you get hungrier. Lionel, you get hungrier. For a very short period. The confusion, Lionel, was gone. Your emotions were in your control entirely, but the beast returns and it is vicious. Nine, you get hungrier as well. And that's by one point? One. Just one. Yeah. And... No, I'll leave it until next week. But we will return Ooh. one week from now <laughs> in and out of game. I love it. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Wait, I'm sorry. In and out of game? The next time we see these vampires, it will be the... Uh... Oh, sorry. Two weeks will have passed. It's it's going to be the um, 10th of October. Okay. Josh is planning something. something <laughs> oh, There's going to be like oh some sort of gosh. summer solstice that happens. And it's going to, I don't know, he's going to summon up an eldritch horror. <laughs> what? Oh Me? Never. Yeah, yeah, I so my never my do that there. My rouse check was zero, so the thirstiest boy is the least hungry. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, GG, everyone. Yeah. Well done. Oh my goodness. You survived another great. night, or the same night. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like we did last week, I really loved it. Everyone, uh, go around do your outros and give another player that you adored the uh, RP of one XP. Do you want to go first? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sure. Hi, I'm Mergs. Uh, I would like to... I'm going to ruin it for everybody, but I'm going to give my experience point to Lionel today for that incredible jaw snatch. Um, <laughs> it was just wig <laughs> and jaw snatched. Thank you so much. I think it was it was just so good. I was so into it. Also, it just made him such a like instantly rich character, just like losing that control. Um, that the fact that it, Nine had never seen it before, too. Yeah, it and it extra, gives yeah. it gives the control so much more flavor when he has it now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's very very good. Um, I'm Murgles. You can find me on Twitch. And Twitter at Murgles, and I'm making an animated film on Twitch, so y you can find me there. And thank you so much. <laughs> Peachy. Okay, so I, I can't choose the incredibly horny choke scene. Okay. Yeah, wait. <laughs> can we not choose no. a scene somebody else has chosen? I actually have another scene, oh, okay. which I, my no, camera wasn't don't. on, but I lost my shit when <laughs> uh, Nines sold out Alex. I, was like, I also oh, was oh, like, you're so fucked. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. It's so good. It's oh, boy. Anything uh, for the clan? Yeah, that's where my XP is going. Mm. I'm Peachy Pixelate. I'm currently playing uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, which I'll be doing tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT over on twitch.tv forward slash Peachy Pixelate. Um, not in quite so much makeup. Just a little bit. Almost. Oh, almost. <laughs> Oh, that episode was so good! It was next! So, so good. Brad, you wanna go next? Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to write my notes up because of everything that Josh told me. I don't wanna forget because I'm what? so terribly forgetful in real life and I'm sure Lionel is not. Um, yeah, man, uh, I, so I really enjoyed the, um, just the way that you explored the I don't even know what it was, vision, memory thing between Josh and Murgles. And I say between Josh and Murgles because the way Josh presented it was so interesting to me that it meant that uh, Jean could... Th just the way to explore clues for the rest of us is to get a piece of paper and find, you know, something on it or the way um, we have to go and smell a body and, and try and smell... Jasmine in an elevator, but for Jean, she goes through this weird dreamscape in the mind hole 
and it was it was just really um, I think I was just partially GM um, gushing jealous because it was just a really interesting way to to have Jean explore her own uh, investigation in a way in, that's unique to her character so I really enjoyed that so in a way I'm giving the point to Josh <laughs> but it, but obviously Josh. because you know I mean Jean is the character Miggles that, was also there that got yeah, to it, <laughs> that got to experience it and obviously the way that she goes through everything is so fucking cool to me so um, from my perspective it was all Murgles because she was the one asking the questions like without the questions I can't do anything mm-hmm. right and that's and the so the way that she it. the way that she interfaces with this game is amazing to me I love it and it's so and also she just doesn't seem like Murgles she's yeah. just it's kind of like the role play is so strong I'm like oh she's so kind of cute and creepy it's so weird um she's almost like adorable and innocent but like there's no way she is kind of or is she or what the fuck so i really enjoyed that whole scene i was completely enraptured by it um so yeah the presentation obviously was josh but obviously the 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 whole scene i think just having gene explore the game from a completely different dimension to the rest of us is so interesting to me that i just love it so much so i think um moguls gene xp just for that scene between the two of you of course thanks and Josh, we can split it in half. <laughs> we can share it. And where can My people XP's find you, Brad? Yeah. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash moguls, where I will be um, working Every on Every fucking time he does this. Animation. I should have just done it for him. I work on animation yep. stuff. I draw pictures. I do paint animation by numbers stuff. and coloring yep. in. <laughs> Uh, animation <laughs> stuff. It's just I do animation stuff. Like I color in. I do coloring in. in I can do coloring Spread in Woto. really well. Spread Woto got me Spread so Woto. fucking good. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that's Find it. Him. I got nothing. So good. So good. Tuesday, you're up. Um, I'm actually going to roll the dice for this because mine is between Peachy's palpable thirst it was incredible. <laughs> Holy shit. Honestly, I don't know where it I, came from, to be honest. I, I need a drink. Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, PB's quiet rage. So just kind of boiling below the surface there. Like, I want to say these things. I'm not going to say these things. You can just see the feelings mm-hmm. uh, bubbling over. But, you know, keeping that expression um, schooled. So I have a D60 here. It's all I've got on my desk. So below... A 30 is Peachy, and above is Peeps. Oh my god, my cat. 29. Literally 29! It was so on the line. What did I say? Who's who? Peachy. 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 Um, that, that was some gorgeous thirst, my friend. <laughs> it, it, was, it was really working. Um, and if you want to see Tuesday things, they can be found at forward slash Tuesday Gray on Twitch and Twitter. Perfect. Thank you. And me, and I'm PB, and I'm gonna give my point. Uh, the the fucking scene between Lionel and uh, Alex, it was so fucking good. Um, I'm gonna give mine to Peachy for the breathing, <laughs> for the breathing alone. Just, I just speak for the, for the entire alone. chat when I say, <laughs> yes. "You get the point." <laughs> That's for breathing. It. Yeah. I got a point for breathing, guys. Yeah, I got chats back. We, yep, yeah, it's, yep. Yeah. <laughs> when um, she says chat, chat, she means me, actually. <laughs> I was yeah. messaging her yeah. directly. <laughs> she does, yeah. <laughs> She's just I mean, taking, it was high, like, taking it was one a, for me right now. <laughs> it was the perfect response as well, though, right? It, like, it was, especially for his character, and it just, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. Can you imagine how thrown off Lionel's, like, having a moment where he's losing <laughs> his mind, and then... <laughs> And then the guy he's choking out is just, just like, like, yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Lionel's just like, oh, Perfect God. Response. Get it off me. Get it off me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so good. Don't beat me up. I'll get an erection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, oh. Alex's turn to say, yes, daddy. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So anyway, yes, you get the point for the chat's obvious thirst. <laughs> for all of us. It's good. 
<laughs> uh, Josh, you're up. Hi. I I think I'm going to give my award of the week, which is my favorite thing that players do is playing the character and not the role. Uh, uh, and, and that goes to um, PB and Peachy for the moment where Peachy was like, huh, an interesting clue, fuck that. And P- PB was like, oh my God, I know what's happening, but I don't know what's happening in character. <laughs> so fucking tough. So that's, that's one for each of you. Thank you. Uh, and you can find me on Gaming FTL if you want to follow me stupid video game stuff. I do more vampire roleplay and uh, 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 lore and and books and media from the world of darkness over on Strange Adventures on YouTube. Or you can catch my podcast, Stitch of Fate, in which uh, we are a, a bunch of New York gangsters and I am a pathetic little scrub. So, uh, who is also horny, dude. but not as horny as, as Peachy. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Alex. Alex, thank you. <laughs> Alex. We'll flip there. Yeah. <laughs> Alex isn't even uh, as yes. horny as Peachy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <sighs> is that all right? Is that Josh? <laughs> <Or are> you- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just fade to black here. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, thank and you, I'm everyone. Spent. <laughs> <laughs> what was the line from today? We always finish. Is that what? That's what somebody said. Oh, right? yes, we, we finish. We finish. Yeah, yeah. finish. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Well. Nongashime. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had a warning on top of the stream, right? Okay, so. Yeah. Did. <laughs> if anyone needs Jesus, I can help you out. <laughs> we all need a little bit of Jesus. Okay, so thank you so much for watching Table Stories Leech. We will be back next Saturday, same time. Uh, a couple of things. The podcast version of the show should be releasing today or tomorrow. It should show up in uh, your Apple feeds and like that. If you could take a second to rate and review the show for us, we'd appreciate it. Uh, tell all your friends, especially if they love vampires. We'll see you next week. Tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow for Dying Order. We're not. We're doing that tomorrow, right? There's no. There's a show. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. want to make sure that. I have your word. You just jinxed it. Oh, there oh, should oh, be Jesus. one. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So tomorrow, D and D. Brad's GM. I'm in it. Uh, Tuesday's in it now as well. Yeah, Tuesday's in it. Come hang out, and that's it. Josh is in it. There. Everybody's in it. <laughs> Come see it. We'll see ya. Peachy's thirst is in it. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next Saturday. Get out. <laughs>